And here we are guys back at it. So now we're ready. Good morning guys. Uh, we're ready to go to a coffee shop. A really good one here in uh, Casco Viejo. So we're gonna go to that coffee shop. And then we're gonna go to the ruins of Old Panama, which started about 500, 600 years ago. And then we're gonna have a good lunch after that. So, all right, well let's go and um, head out. I'll take you guys along. And look what we got yesterday. We got, this is what it called a uh, mola. It's a, like a tablecloth for a table. It's very traditional. And uh, it was about $20 US. But the lady was super nice and she told us all about it. Has a lot of stitching on the back. All hand done. You see the little colors. So anyways, I love it. Can't wait to have it at home. Starting the day with Tosto coffee. Nice little breakfast spot. And here's the inside look of it. Small place, but cute. With the tree in the middle, so it's very nice. Nice lighting too. Okay guys, if you want to see what we got for breakfast today. Well, we have the huevos criollos. It's three eggs with some sauce on it. It looks really good. Probably not spicy, but that's okay. We have right here the hojadre. It's a puffy pastry here in Panama. Looks really good. Let me open it up so you can, guys can see. Oh, it's got some kind of cheese in it. Okay, that's interesting. That looks good. And then we have here um, like salchicha guisadas with some peppers. And then we have a side of rice. So this is kind of a little bit of breakfast to start the day. So we're gonna enjoy. So we'll give you a review after. Okay, tosto coffee. Really good. Four out of five, I'm gonna give it. Uh, food was great. Maybe a little couple things were all right, but uh, not the best, but not the worst. So it was, it was really good. Recommend Tosto Coffee in Casco Viejo. So let's explore the city. City and new city in the back. Two six. A young man who was seated and settled in his grave before the appearance of rigor mortis. He died to be buried. Uh, let's see what else. They don't know much. But this is a real skeleton, guys. We have made it to the what used to be the square. It's all gravel now, but imagine the history this place has. So let's go read the signs. Okay, guys, just to give a little context, this was part of a uh, cathedral. So this is only the tower of it, and it was built between 1620 and 1630. So you're talking about 400 years ago. Um, you can see on the side that there used to be stairs all in that column right there now They're pretty much gone But you can see the stairs right there, and uh, I think we're gonna check out if we can go inside for a little bit But I what I did want to show you guys too Is that they actually found bodies of important figures 
on the floor of the cathedral. And I just want to show you a little picture here. They show bodies laying down here with two people laying down um, side by side, basically. But it's uh, very interesting to know that we are in the center of the old Panama. Basically, right here, it stretched all the way from like Casco Viejo and went all the way across the water. It was, it was a pretty big city back in the day. So, it's pretty interesting. It just went through a lot of history, earthquakes, fires, things of those natures. Okay, so, we're now going to see if we can go into the tower. And I'll take you guys along. Okay, we walked into the stairs and now we're inside part of the cathedral and we're here at this tower. It's crazy to think this tower is 400 years old, but uh, this must have been the inside of the church here. As long as with this large room, there used to be a roof up here, all this here. It's a very big space. So, one last thing to show you guys before we try to go up there. Um, Obviously the stairs are not real. I mean they're they're not original, but it's gonna take us up to the tower, so let's learn a little more. Oh, here's the spiral staircase that I was talking about. Alright guys, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this content. I'm gonna keep exploring the world. Why don't you join? Okay, so we're in this tower here. All of this is basically missing, but uh, it's kind of what it looks like back, back in the day. Look at the views we do have though. All the way in the distance, you see the mountains? We are in the old, but you see the new. Look at that, Panama City. That's the museum we just went to. This is pretty cool. No complaints, I like it so far. $10 worth spent. And what a view we have from the very top of the tower. Crazy how much history this holds. Look at that, beautiful views of Panama City. There's more of the ruins down there. And there's more city views, it's all around. So, one thing to realize here in Panama is that the low tide and high tide is a real thing here. And uh, because right now if you can't see it, but there's barely any water right there. But at nighttime the water does come up substantially. That's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful history. For 10 bucks you can come up here and experience this yourself. Panama, worth it. Okay, so there's a lot of ruins to see out there. We really saw the main ruins with the cathedral, the church, and then a house back there. But uh, definitely nicer to, I mean, if it was better weather, it wasn't so hot, we would walk a majority of it, but uh, we did what we could. So we are getting hungry. We're gonna go eat in Casco Viejo again, once again, and uh, we'll bring you guys along. So let's go. Panama is very chill. It's very relaxed. The life here is very slow, so that's we're just taking it easy. What's up, guys? So we're here at Fondo Lo Que Hay. You can see the sign back over here. Fondo Lo Que Hay literally translates to whatever there is, so it's a funny name. Um, so I ordered to start a, uh, a, a mojito. I'm gonna try it. Yeah, it's pretty good. Still the best mojito I've had was in Cuba. So I want to take you guys along on that trip. I don't know when we'll book that, but we'll see. Anyways, Fondo Lo Que Hay. It's supposedly the number 57 best uh, Latin America uh, restaurant in 2022. So it didn't make the top 50, but it's number 57. Still amazing. So. What we got is cassava tostada. You'll see the prices, 
and then smoked corn tortilla for $16 with pork belly and chimichurri. It sounds very very delicious. So this is a very this is like vegetarian, like no gluten, uh, you know, very different restaurant. Not used to it, so we'll see. I'll give it a try. We're always open, so uh, let's give it a try. I'll show you guys the food in a minute. with chimichurri and onions. Cheese in it. It's very hot. Looks so good. Guys, we just had Fondo Lo Que Hay and it truly is what it lives, it lives up to because the food was so good, especially, especially, I cannot tell you enough how much, how good the uh, salmon ceviche or the, uh, no, cassava, I mean. It is so good. You're gonna see videos you know in this video here it is five out of five more than five out of five so good we got we got two orders of that just because it was that good so definitely recommend this place um, you don't need a reservation or anything so uh, mojitos were really good too so I got two of those and really good uh, we spent about seventy dollars two people with tip so a little on the pricey side but I'm telling you it's worth every dollar so let's go going on beautiful morning in Casco Viejo Panama you've been so good to us it's one of those countries that you do want to come back to so if you haven't been here you gotta come you gotta come Casco Viejo is where it's at very chill very nice inexpensive I don't have anything bad, bad to say other than the weather being very very humid no complaints let's go explore the city and uh, go have breakfast Come along. Nice kitties. <laughs> she wants to bite me, I can tell. She wants to bite me, so I'm gonna leave it alone. Let's go have breakfast. Let me explain. Yesterday she was filming me and I just, I happened to just get my ankle in the wrong hole and it just bent. And of course I got up within 20 seconds, I was fine. But I'm used to it. This is early morning, Casco Viejo. It's beautiful, nobody around. It feels, it feels so good. It's not hot, it's not humid. Not yet at least. So we're just kind of talking about the gentrification signs that are behind the camera. Saying that. In a way it's good, in a way it's not, but they put a lot of signs trying to stop it before it even starts. So, sad for the people that it's going to affect, but in a way it brings money and more tourism and nicer things, I guess. So, we'll see. We'll see what they do. Cute little ducks. Okay guys, Café Unido. We're here, look at the menu, so you get an idea how much things are here. There's a cute little coffee shop, so we got our order number 43 and there's lots of coffee products here. And it's a cute spot. It's got an upstairs and down, so let's try it. I'm got a toast with egg. We got a breakfast sandwich. After a wonderful breakfast, we're here back at the Santa Maria Cathedral.
like I said, love in Panama, inside and out. Can't complain about this place. It's been great. Weather's a little on the on the hot side, but and it's March, so shouldn't be that way. So like I said before, this apartment is about $502 for three nights. And uh, what else can I say? It is in Casco Viejo on the border of Casco Viejo and Chorrillo. Chorrillo is a town that's not too safe. It's a little bit run down and they're remodeling a lot of things, but you can still feel that it's not the safest. And that's what the Uber drivers have been telling me. So for that reason, every time we walk out of the apartment, we have to go to the right because that's Casco Viejo, that's a safer site. Chorrillo is on the left, and it's not the safest. Let's just say that. We haven't had any incidences though, so it's not as bad as you may think. Um, you'll see in my videos that some areas look run down, and that's probably the area of Chorrillo. So uh, we're checking out today. Today's March 2nd, 2023. Going to Las Americas Golden Tower, uh, hotel in downtown Panama City. So uh, that was about $300 for three nights. I'll explain more once we get there. But we're checking in there today and that's more of a upper class, like uh, a little more fancy. It's gonna have a view of everything. It's gonna be nice. So um, we'll take it from there and then uh, we'll bring you guys along. We're probably gonna go eat, go buy a few things. And uh, tomorrow is gonna be a fun day. We're going to an island called What's it called? Uh, Tobago Island. Uh, we take a ferry, 30 minutes. I'll explain all of that tomorrow and uh, we'll go from there. So, we'll catch you guys in a minute. We're gonna get an Uber ride and go to the new hotel, Las Americas. Let's go. Here is Plaza Las Americas Hotel. So reception uh, or the lobby is on the fifth floor. So we came up straight to the fifth floor. And um, look what we got a view of downtown Panama. Probably in the back you can see the screw. It's the it's the funny looking building right there. It really does look like a screwdriver. Screw. Alright, let's explore this floor only. Um, only because we're pretty early here, so I'll show you guys around a little bit. This is what the building actually looks like. Just a replica. 1 to 150. It's a, it's a, it's a nice building. Alright, here it is guys. The screw. The most funny looking building here. This one. So. Here's the daily life in Panama City. This is where we came in, right where that taxi is down here. And uh, we're here in the city center, so. So a lot of the Uber drivers have been telling me that Panama City is a tax haven for the wealthy because you don't have income tax. Uh, you barely have to pay any taxes here. So that's why all these buildings, very large and beautiful, they are pretty much banks, bank offices, and that's where they keep their money. Other countries come here to keep their money. So it's something interesting to know. The richest city in uh, Latin America is Panama City. Never knew this kind of stuff, so. All right, so we're gonna go to the mall for a bit and uh, buy a couple things, so. Check-in is in a few hours, so I'll keep in touch with you guys here in a minute. Beautiful Panama City. Listen to daily life. Okay, so we're going to the beach tomorrow and then the next day we have a we're going to a village out in the middle of Panama. So we need shoes like this to get in the mud and in the water. And uh, these fit perfectly and these are $25. So the shopping here is pretty cheap. So just an idea. So we just shopped at Conway for the first time here in Panama. This is their store. It's like a uh, like a Target, let's say. Um, good prices and everything. I was reading on the wall during checkout that you have to have a receipt attached to your bag, 
if you don't, otherwise you're gonna get a ticket from like the police or anybody that's checking outside of the store. And I think it's just to make sure that people don't steal. That's what I'm assuming, but um, good prices. They have like everything from shoes to, they, it says furniture, it says house um, things. You can buy anything for the house, whatever you wanna buy. So it's three floors, big enough store to find anything really that you want, so. All right, let's go eat. Yeah, so this mall right here is uh, Megapolis. Um, it looks very dead, very sad. There's a lot of stores missing. It's very quiet. It, the air condition is not even on because it's hot in here. I don't know, guys. I don't know about this. Had a good look. Here we are, guys, at Hard Rock. We usually don't do this, but we're really hungry and there's not much around here in downtown, at least in this area. So, why not get like a burger or something? I haven't been to a Hard Rock Cafe in a long time, so we'll tell you guys how we go. So we got the messy burger. Messy, 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 messy. Fries and a big platter for us too. It's got chicken wings, onion rings, some kind of uh, quesadillas on top, and then some fried the tomato on it. Some other chicken. Yeah, that's great. We have somewhat of a view, so we're gonna enjoy this meal. Not much people here. There's only one other table, so we're the only one, you know, other people here. So after this, we go check in to our new hotel. So catch y'all in a bit. <laughs> 